Hi everyone, this is Jeffrey at Ripe Color. This is Nancy Jean in the garden. And we are here to give you the, well, to offer you <laughs> the uh, uh, daily reading. So we do a, a dual reading. I read cards and um, Nancy reads the stones in the garden. And uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Um, you could visit my site. I, I'm a textile artist and I also read Jarreau. Uh, Nancy uh, forms gardens and grids. They are, they are available for purchase. Uh, all the information is below. I also um, do astrology t-shirts and um, I have all signs and they're really cool. And the more you buy, the more you save. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so the way we read questions when we're doing these dual daily readings is we look for what's going on around the collective. And if it, if it fits to you, it'll give you kind of a path to, to, you know, ropes to skip and ropes to know. So that's where we are. And so I'm going to ask, what I'm asking is for the garden to send me the crystals to the places that give us the best insights for dealing with the energies today. Well, everything's moving forward. Wow. Yeah, it's cool when it comes out like that. Mm -hmm. All right, away we go. Okay, Jeffrey first. Okay, body changes. Lots of changes, lots of um, realignment. There's like a realignment going on. Mind, lots of new ideas, lots of fertile energy, lots of, um, lots of um, creative thoughts coming through. Can you see that? Is that yeah. glaring? No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Spirit. I mean, this is one of the best cards in the deck. This is um, really your intuition talking to you. This is an amazing card. So um, this is really, really about being rejuvenated, reborn, re mm -hmm. reanimated, um, coming back to life, right? In a new way, with a new understanding. And it's also intuition. This is Gabriel blowing the horn, hearing your intuition, hearing the messages, uh, the grounding comes from, you know, inviting spirit in to receive the messages. And uh, the clarity, I think actually the clarity might come from uh, a disappointment. I know that sounds strange, but I think the clarity might come, you know, like an understanding of the disappointment that you've had in the past and being able to like integrate it and say, okay, that was that was a disappointing thing. That was something that didn't work. And it's information now for me to move forward. Okay. This is my uh, clarity. And my clarity fell between fire and water. And when it's in fire, it means use the ideas you carry from your past. The past lives hold your solutions. In other words, if you go back into someplace you've been, that's a solution coming forward. But the fact it's in water says... You have all the clarity you need. You have all the signposts to move forward. Okay. And then it gets really freaky with what you talk about. <laughs> because we have the body between water, go for it, and true. Water on my board means things are moving forward. Go for it means exactly what you think. It means go for it and true. So when you read body and uh, go for it and true, Go for it means movement is very easy. True means yes, do what you need to do. And the fact it's in water, it means the grounding elements that you use will help you. So that's just a direct path forward. Then we have our values sitting back here in water, solidly, completely in water. And it ground, it says grounding changes the setting for your long-term plan. So this is someone moving into a long-term change in pattern. And then honest to God, my favorite, spot on this board is go for it uh and because i had visions that created each one of these spaces and in that one it, i remembered something i'd forgotten as a child but i hit a hole in one one day and uh, the 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 golf pro just said i said i can't see the flag i don't know where to hit it he said just go for it so i hit it and i hit a hole in one so then they all wanted to make me into a golfer that's the last golf game i ever played in my life um but go for it means movement is very easy. And the fact that the spirit says it's in true is it's yes. So whatever you're thinking about doing, it's a yes. Now we get the clarity on what this whole reading is about. 
you have the mind in the tree of life. And the mind in the tree of life means you are now opening to radiant guidance. Wow. I mean, <laughs> this is like as profound a reading right. as and, the, and like, the, you know, this card is so profound. Mm -hmm. This card is so profound. So, you know, first of all, it's, um, it's Gabriel blowing the horn, like blow right, Gabriel right. blow. And, you know, so it's an angel leading you and guiding you. And it, because it's a second to last card in the deck, the way I understand this card is like, there's, this, there's a karmic element to this card, as you mm -hmm. know. Um, so this is really like, okay, well, I really, really completely understand this, this uh, uh, challenge that I've been faced with and that I, I saw through to the other side. I learned a lot about myself. I grew through it. I evolved through it. And it's, so in fact, I'm reborn. In fact, I'm reborn, even mm -hmm. though I haven't died. And that's right. what this is. This is this is a complete reemergence of yourself. It's all aiming right. out. It's moving away from the stagnant energies or the right. having to grow and struggle to do. Right. So. Yeah. And it's a reemergence out of this, right? Mm -hmm. It's a reemergence out of this chaos, right? Because you you invited spirit into your meditation. Right. And, and here's all these, these paths forward. Yeah. It's a beautiful reading. So I'm um, really excited that everybody's here. I'm, and we're going to say goodbye now and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks.